Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer software testing interview question 326. That is, what is basis path testing? Let me answer. So what is basis path testing? Testing performed to derive the test cases by going through the flows and logical paths in the source code of the application is known as basis path testing okay it it belongs to the white box testing category guys will be generally done by the developers here the purpose is to create or design the test cases by going through the flows that is decisions and logical paths in the source code of the application i'll give an example so that these two lines will be clear for you and you'll understand what is basis path testing also okay fine so here is the example guys okay here is some example method okay for which we have to uh, do the basis path testing okay so in order to perform basis path testing we have to go through the flows and logical paths in the source code of the application okay in order to go through the flows and logical paths in this application we have to create a graph okay we have to create a graph for this so how to create a graph for this so i'll do something like this okay i'll just create a circle uh, i'll say start this is start okay start i'll just number it as one and it starts here and after that we have uh, a is equal to 50 b is equal to 40 c is equal to 30 so here i'll give something like this a is equal to a comma b comma c okay whatever the values of a b c are there the values after that here we have a condition okay then we have a condition here so this is number two guys uh, this part is uh, this is number two where abc are defined then we have a condition here b greater than c i'll go with a condition okay there came a condition i'll just name this condition as three okay some b greater than c is a condition here so based on this condition either the direction will go this side or this side right based on the condition either the situation may go to this if block or if not this condition then else block two things so two things will come two sections will come here so they are uh, four and five here decision making or logical flow will change based on this number three guys okay so that's what is very important four five and again after four five they will meet at some point okay they will meet at some point and finally uh, the value of uh, a will be printed okay the value of a will be printed let's assume this is also another circle uh, with the number six this is the sixth number and finally uh seven where a will be printed seven guys where a will be printed and uh, finally the end of the program that is eight okay this is eight this is something eight and uh, this is the end end of the program okay so this is how it looks like but like how to generate the by creating this graph for this uh, particular program code okay how to perform basis path testing where in order to perform testing as part of this testing we have to derive the test cases or create the test case or design the test cases by going through the different flows and logical paths in the source code of the software okay different flows here one of the flow may be one two one two one comma two this is one path one two after the three in this three b may be greater than c if b is greater than c let's say it will go in this direction so four will come and uh, six comma six and then seven and finally eight okay this is one path what may be the other path the other path may be it will start with one after that two then Three, the condition may be false then four okay four 
sorry, not four, five. Sorry, five. It is false. It will go to five. Then six. Then seven. Then eight. Okay, like this. So two paths are coming. So for these two paths to be covered, we have to create the test cases. Okay, developers will create the test cases. Okay. Testing performed to derive the test cases by going through the flows and logical paths in the source code of the application. Okay, it's called as basis path testing. Here, by, uh, by with the help of this logic, the paths are going to be different. Right here is the place where decision is being made. Because of this, if another decision is there, another more paths will come. Okay, more paths will come if this uh, phi is also a decision point, like B greater than C. If any, any other decision is there here, you'll get more paths. Okay, here only two paths came. And for this each and every path, you have to the developers will create a or derive a test case. Okay, this is called as basis path testing. And with example, I explained, guys. So hope guys, you understood what is basis path testing in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye bye.